This is the beautiful Dover sole, which I filleted. Cut them straight down the middle. So I'm going to roll them up like a ringmaster's whip. Roll the strips of fillet, placing them in coils at the bottom of a baking dish. Right, I'm going to whisk your farm eggs into fairly stiff peaks. There we go. Now, this is the bit that you wanted, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, this is what you want to see. Okay. <laughs> Happy with that? Right, yeah. Yeah. There you go, Richard. Right, I want to take just a little bit of this and gently fold it in. This is the crux of this airy recipe. If you knock too much air out of your egg whites, the souffle will be a flop, not a fluff. OK, now, I put this baking parchment around the edge because the souffle is going to rise up, right. and if there wasn't any, it would just tip over the edges. And so, so that's got to go in the oven for 30 minutes at 200. Don't open the door while it's cooking. Adios. Right, there we go. Now it's a waiting mm -hmm. game. Oh, it's nice and risen up. Put it down very gently. If you put it down with a bash, all the air will go. Snip the string. Very carefully unwrap it. Wow. And that is our spinach gruyere souffle with sole mm. at the bottom. When mm. did we get to try? OK, well, we're going in. Well, I would say that is perfectly done. Come on, gather round and um, try the souffle. Mm. It's lovely because you've got the gruyere and the spinach. But then the soul taste has come out. It's lovely. Are you happy with that? We'll be trying this later. Mm. Oh. It's lovely. I think I shall have to have a go. Richard, are you happy? He's <laughs> <laughs> hot, but he's, he's hot, but he's lovely. Very, very tasty. Give me an excuse to go fishing. Now you've done well, Val. You come and cook for me any time. Well. Fishing always makes me oh, very hungry. <laughs> what was that? Fishing always makes me very hungry. <laughs> I thought that's what you said. <laughs>